A question on our website. We're returning a vehicle to the Alamo location at Port Everglades, but find the directions very confusing. Can you please clarify? Sure I can. Stay tuned. Welcome back, friends, and as always, let's go to the wall. The most direct route to Alamo is via I-595, east towards the I-595 entrance of Port Everglades. You simply follow the signs to Port Everglades, and then Alamo will be on the right, just before the entrance gate. When driving north on Route 1, ignore the airport signs and look for the Port Everglades exit to the right. This will take you up to I-595 and then Alamo will be on the right again. Driving south on Route 1 is trickier. Bear right on Southeast 6th Avenue. Follow the road around until you see Park and Go on the left. Make an immediate right, then an immediate left. Take the first one left again and the road will loop around until you get to a stop sign. Just cross the road, that's I-595, and turn right into Alamo. And now we're on I-595, driving east, the easiest route. We will look for Alamo on the right. Should we miss the turn, we'll end up at the east entrance gate on I-595 of Port Everglades. We're getting closer. Do you see the building on the right? Alamo. We can make a right just about here, the entrance, or we can go around. Let's go around. And there will be signs to tell us where to drop the vehicle. By the way, this is McIntosh Road. So we'll just look for the entrance on the right here. We'll turn in and um, there will be signs where to park. If you don't know where to park, just go to the right, go around the building, park in the front and uh, just walk in to check out. Driving north on Route 1, please ignore the confusing airport signs and look for the Port Everglades exit to the right. That will loop around and drop us back on I-595 with Alamo to the right. Coming up is Northeast 10th Street. That will also take you to Alamo. In fact, that's the way to go to Park and Fly, the offsite parking area. And then if you continue, you um, will make a couple of turns and end up at Alamo. But we'll do the easier way. We'll just take the exit coming up. So you see the sign for Port Everglades coming up there. We'll continue it about half a mile. Now don't get confused here, there's many signs. These are the airport actually the runway so we're going underneath the first runway through the tunnel here the runway is above us i think there might even be a second runway yep here it is that's the second runway now you have to start making your way over to the right i'm keeping to the left here for a different reason now we're going to go underneath the road that comes from the airport and there'll be a road going towards the airport, that'll be the next one. And then we have to make take the exit to the right to go to Port Everglades. Keep your eye on the signs now. 
Port Everglades, see, next one right. So this road coming up, we are going underneath, that's the road going towards the airport, to the terminals. There we have to go to the right here, follow those cars on the right, that's the exit. That will loop around and put you on I-595. Now we're driving south on Route 1. We just passed the Crown Plaza Hotel in Route 84 and we'll be looking for Enterprise and soon after Enterprise we will make a right turn or bear to the right. Now we are looking for Southeast 6th Avenue coming up soon. There's Enterprise and now we will bear to the right. Southeast 6th We'll continue straight here and just loop around to the left. The next point of interest is park and go because that's where we need to make the, the right turn. As we approach Park and Go on the left, note you cannot continue straight here anyway, so you have to make either a left or a right. So we'll go to the right. Then make an immediate left under the over overpass. We'll go down the road here, look for the next left. Turn left, then a right again and loop around until we get to the stop. We will cross and enter the Alamo lot. And here we are, three ways to Alamo. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and I will see you next time.